welcome to EC Electronics. Today's video is a recruitment news for Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited for the post of Diploma Technicians. Okay, so the job is for Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited or HAL and the post name is Diploma Technicians and it is for 4 years tenure or duration. That means it is not a permanent job. The duration or the uh, period of this job is for 4 years. Okay. The location of job is Kochi, Kerala and it is a place of posting. That is, uh, if you get selected for this post, if you pass all the written test interview and everything, you will be get posted in Kerala and in the Kochi location, Hindustan Aeronautical Limited. Now, what is the qualification for applying for this post? Okay, so the post is Diploma Technician. So you should be having Diploma. Again, there's a lot of recruitments going to happen or happening for Diploma people. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of vacancies for ISR also, for DMRC also. And there is a lot of recruitments nowadays happening for these Diploma people, especially for electronics. So there's a lot of job opportunities. Now, let me uh, just tell you about the, uh, the qualifications or the number of vacancies before the qualification. Let me just tell you about the number of vacancies. So if you have a diploma in electronics, there is two vacancies for electronics. There is seven vacancies for mechanical. There is three vacancies for electrical and electronics. That means electrical. So that is all uh, about the vacancy details. And the qualification is diploma in electrical that is the respective values. If it is for electronics uh, diploma technician, you should have a diploma in electrical or electrical and electronics or especially diploma in electronics. Oh, uh, so similarly for all the other branches, for mechanical, you should have a diploma in mechanical and for electrical, you should have a diploma in electrical. Okay, so the basic qualification is diploma. Okay. Now, the qualification, they are saying that specifically you should be doing this diploma in a regular basis. That is full term course you should do. Okay, so there is a regular diploma in electronics. Now, the cutoff needed for, uh, that is you, for applying for this post, you should have a percentage of 60% in your diploma for the general category. That is only if you have 60%, you are eligible to apply for this post. But if you belong to SCST category, you only need 50%. Okay, so this is a very common doubt I am facing in all my comments. Uh, that is a lot of comments is being coming, a lot of doubts is being coming. Ma'am, I have this much of percentage. That is, I have 59.98%. Am I eligible to apply for this post? No. You should have exactly 60% or above. Because it is specifically given that there is no rounding off. You should have 60% means it is exactly 60% or above. But if you have, uh, that is if you belong to SCST category, you should only need 50% that is exactly 50% and above. Okay, so this is a common doubt. That's why I'm explaining it once again. Now moving on to the age limit. The age limit is 28 years. That is the maximum age limit I'm talking. It is 28 years. If you are below 28 years and if you have a diploma in electronics with a 60 percentage of mark you can apply for this post then there is an age relaxation nowadays you can see a lot of this age relaxations especially for the reserved categories the age relaxation for SCST is five years for OBC is three years and also for physically disabled persons is 10 years and also there is age relaxation for ex service and economically weaker sessions that is all the reserved categories have age relaxation but if you belong to the general category maximum age limit is 28 years moving on to the salary detail again the salary offering is a very very good package moving on to the salary details the salary offering is a very very good package it is 45,100 so if you uh, see the recruitments for the uh, government sectors, the diploma people are getting more than 40,000 per month plus allowances. So uh, if you have a first class diploma, you should always try to get into government sector. That is my opinion. Okay. Anyway, the salary offering here for this Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited is 45,100 plus allowances per month. Okay. Now, moving on to the selection process, I'll, uh, I'll explain the selection process in very, very detail. 
please if you are interested in uh, applying for this post please listen carefully so the selection process after the pre screening so that uh, as uh, we hear in all other examinations of government sectors there is a lot of applications coming or will come for this post so they'll do a pre screening and this pre screening is based on your percentage of mark that you obtain in your diploma especially if you talk for this job you are qualification as diploma so they will do a pre screening based on your percentage in diploma and then they will be selecting some people then they will call these selected people this bunch of people for writing the written examination okay so the first step is pre screening then from the pre screening they select some people and then there is written examination now the written test cut off is already been given the written test cut off required is a minimum of 60 percentage for general category they can also increase the cut off mark but it is minimum 60 percentage for general category and for scst and the reserved categories it is 50 percentage and above there that means there is also relaxation for the reserved category in the cut off mark also there is relaxation okay now where the exam is going to happen this is another common question you always face that is i always face in my comment session that ma'am where is the uh, exam location when is a uh, admit card uh, that is going to be obtained when is exam date so see these exam dates this uh, admit card details you can only know through the sites okay and also for this uh, selected people that is after pre screening they will be selecting some people to write the written examination only these selected people will be getting the admit card other other people won't be getting the admit card they won't uh, give the admit card uh, link or something they'll uh, send the admit card to those selected people to the respective email addresses that is the uh, standard process okay so the written test we are talking about the written test the written test is going to happen in bangalore okay even though the uh, the job location is in kerala the exam is going to happen in bangalore okay now we are going to talk about the examination which is also very much in detail given in the notification the time of examination is 2 and a half hours okay the date of examination is not given so please don't comment below that ma'am when is the examination when is the examination the date of examination is not yet announced okay it will be announced only after you apply for this post you get your admit card and everything only then you will be knowing anyway the duration the time duration of examination is 2 and a half hours and the examination paper is having three parts or three sessions in the part 1 or in the session 1 there are 20 questions and in this 20 questions they will be testing your general awareness okay the general things general knowledge things they will be testing in the 20 question or in this part 1 in the part 2 there will be 40 questions and they will be testing your english knowledge in english and reasoning okay so that is part 2 in part 3 there will be 100 questions and in this 100 questions they will be testing your knowledge in your respective subject that is the post is for diploma technicians so uh, it can be for diploma in electronics diploma in mechanical and diploma in electrical so in this 100 questions they will be asking you questions from your respective subjects of diploma okay that is your trade your subject knowledge okay i hope it is clear so there is three parts part 1 general awareness part 2 english and reasoning part 3 your subject knowledge okay so everything is crystal clear the time is clear now about the marking each question is given one mark okay so out of this total How, how many questions are there total 100 plus 40 plus 20 is 160 questions are there total each question is being given one mark and there is no negative marking which is a very good thing right because nowadays if you see there is a lot of negative marking for all the public sector examinations or and also other private sector examinations also here there is no negative marking you can give it a try so that's a good thing and also another important and a good news is that there is no application fee detail given in the notification that means there won't be any application fees for applying for the post so anybody can apply if you are qualified with a first class diploma that is minimum 60 percentage and for the scst category there is 50 percentage only required 
So if you have this much of qualification and if you belong to the age limit within 28 years, you can apply for this post because it is a very good uh, package and also uh, don't uh, hesitate to apply that is uh, there's a lot of people asking me doubts that ma'am is this a temporary post whether this is uh, continued uh, that is will this be permanent in the future but if you uh, if you see in this notification it is clearly written that this is for a tenure or this is for a period of four years but if you see your career four years is a good period right to work with a good firm Especially if it is Hindustan Aeronautical Limited, if you have a four years of experience, it is a very, very good thing. So my opinion is that you should always try for this job because there is no application fee, anything uh, being given in the notification. And also, uh, if you are interested in applying for this post, I'll uh, give the description that is linked in the description box. Okay, so uh, that's all about the Hindustan Aeronautical Limited recruitment for the post of Diploma Technicians. I hope that you are now crystal clear with the uh, selection process the uh, the written test and everything so so we have seen the uh, the uh, recruitment uh, details the written test details and everything the job location the exam location and we, everything we have discussed the important thing we have missed out that is the last date for applying for this post it is on 23rd of march the application link is already active from the 3rd of march so you can apply for this post now and I'll give the link uh, of the recruitment and everything in the description. So if you're interested in this job, if you have a diploma in uh, electronics or mechanical or electrical, uh, that are the three branches they are calling for. So if you have a first class diploma and if you belong to any each category they are preferring, please do apply for this. There is no application fees or anything given in the description or uh, in the notification. Okay, so you can apply till 23rd of March, but don't wait till 23rd of March. You may have a rush in the site. Okay, so please do apply for this as soon as possible. And I'm telling you that we are doing uh, videos uh, or preparation classes for uh, ISR technical assistant and also various competitive examinations of electronics. So uh, if you're interested in watching those videos, please do subscribe to the channel and also if you want to see this recruitment news also please do subscribe to the channel i hope that this video was useful for your uh, knowledge then if you are interested in applying for this i'm telling it again please to apply for it as soon as possible okay so that's for uh, for this video i hope that you found this video useful if it please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of job aspirants that is those who uh, those people who want to get into the government sectors please share these videos with them and if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.